Okay, now we'll move to the other part. What do we have here? We have the featured course and footer. Okay, let's just go to the featured course. Now I need to create another section and I'll go for featured courses. And this will be a section. Then I'll use the global class, which is a section. Then I will a specific class for this section. And I will go for Okay, let's just pick up a name. I will go for collection. What do we have here? Also, we have a title and some text. And I'll we'll add the title. Title. This will be a div. We'll add a class. Section heading. So if any time I have a section heading or a section title, okay, let's just check what do I have here. I have a title. Future courses okay and i have a paragraph of a text paragraph what do i have check out new and popular courses check out new and popular courses good so if any time i will have another section that have a hidden so i can use the same div, so which will have a section heading, so it will be global as can be used for any section that has that has a title. Okay, now the title is finished. Let's just go to the other part. So the other part is where we will have the courses or the future of the course. This is the list, and for that we'll add a div, which will wrap everything in the class collection products. Okay, this is the class I will use collection products this will be the parent and then I need to add the items. So this will be item one, item two, and the items in this case is the courses, course one, two, and three. Okay, let's just go for the prod course one. And this course will be a div for sure. And what do we have as element? We have the image, the title of the course, and the price. Okay, three elements. So we'll go for product. Then this will be for the first item or for the first course. I'll go for product. Let's just go for course. So product because I, I try to make it global. Maybe this this landing page not for courses. It can be for something else. So this is why I just keep it global like that. Product. Okay, and I'll add an image. I'll just check if I have some images right here. Okay, I have product image. And I will go for product dash paint. And image product. Good. Now, what about the second item? It will be a title. So, flex box. Go for an H4 for a heading. Then I'll use a class product title total. And I'll add here flex box. So this is for the title. And I'll use also for the image a class and I will go for product image. Cool. Now I have the title, I have the image, and I have the title. I need to add the price. So we'll use a span then with the class product price and let's just add a price dollar fifty dollars good now course one done so we have the HTML right here so this is the future course and why you see that because the image is, is large and this is the title and this is the price so now I'll just copy this HTML code to create three courses because they have three three items my right here the first course the second course and the third one okay let's just copy that i'll go for just check if it's correct good so just highlight and when, when i put the course right here it will highlight to the end of the div which will give me an idea on what i need to copy so in this case i'm just copying that course course so the second one and the third one, I will use the same image, but I will just check the title. This is greater than JavaScript ES6. Okay, let's just 
just go for CSS grid and JavaScript. Yes, six. Good. Now let's just change the price. What do I have here? 176 and 47. So with 47 and 176. Good. So I have three items and let's just put that in full screen. Eyes up. And if we check a look that I have this is the hero, but it's the future of the course. I have the headline and the three items. But the problem is the image is large and it's just taking all of that. So I need just to manage the items or the patch will look like that. And the three items to be aligned horizontally. And for that, I will use Flexbox. But for the HTML part, it's done. And let's just put that at the right. So if you see me put that at the right and the left, so I use size app which there is an application that help you just to use some shortcuts if you want to put a window at the right and at the left okay now let's just move to css i think to be more explicit for this product class name right here i need to use collection and because it will be considered as the children so let's just select this once second one the third one and i'll add the collection now i have collection products as department and collection product collection products with s as the parent and collection product without s as the children okay now, now let's just move to css so the first thing i'll add is collection products not product and we'll go for products list now this is the parent i will use display flex y to display the element horizontally now I will need to use flex direction because it is by default set to row. And once you display flex, I still have the same problem here. So the elements are not aligned. And this is why the first thing to do is I need to define the size. So in this case, I will define just the flex pages of each of each flex product to 30%. Okay, I will go for collection product without S the children and I will set the flex basis to 30 percent 30 percent where is that percent good but the problem still there why because if we take a look at the image it's large and I need just to adapt the image to 100 percent of this collection product which is taking 30 percent. Okay, now this image should be 100% of the collection product block. Okay, let's just go for product image. Then I will go for a width of 100%. Now, if we take a look, everything is set to good. But the problem is there is no space. So the products as horizons are horizontally aligned, but we need a space. We need to manage the space between these elements. And for that, I will use justify content now to justify the element horizontally. And I will distribute the space. I will use space between to distribute the space between the elements. Okay, good. Now, as you see, we don't have any problem here. So the elements are aligned horizontally and the space is distributed. And the space is distributed equally. Now let's just adjust. Now we'll need to adjust the margins a little bit of the titles and get off of that. So I think that we have a problem here. So this product price need to underscore because I don't see the reset style applied. No, it's good. I see now that the styling, styling is applied. I have a font size which is not larger than that. Okay. Now let's just go and I will apply a margin for the product title of 10 pixels at the, po at the top and 10 pixels at the bottom. Good, let's just see that. And I'll go for the product title also and the product price. And I will want it to be aligned at the edge of the image and they want to align it so a little bit, little bit at the right. So this is why I will use the margin of right. 
toinen osa margin right, power margin left, right, and I'll use the margin left of 10 pixels, not 190, what is that? Okay, good, now it's well aligned. I have another problem right here of this title, of this heading, let's just check the class. So this is what? Section heading. But I will use, first, the problem is with the section because the sections, I need to use the margin bottom of each section. So each section need the margin bottom of 10 pixels, not 10 pixels, 10 pixels. I think it's not that huge. So I will use 80 pixels. Let's just put that at the top. Maybe put it at the reset. Okay, let's just search for section. And I'll add section right here. Now add the margin bottom, margin bottom of 80 pixels. Now good. I will also use a margin bottom for this headline off of the head end. I will use a margin bottom for the head end of 80 pixel. Margin bottom. 80 pixels. Good. Now the margin are good. Check that. Remove the developer tools. Cool. I have some featured elements. I have the courses list aligned, aligned horizontally, and the prices and the titles are set correctly. I don't want the item. I don't want the items to be at the edge like that. And this is why I will add a margin. I will go. I'll add the margin. Let's just go for, what is the class right here? Okay, it's collection. Let's go at the top. Collection, then I'll add a margin left of 50 pixels and a margin of right of 50 pixels. Okay, good. Let's just put that in full size. Good, this is what I want. But let's just refactor the code a little bit. I'll go for 50 pixels. Zero. Okay, this is for left, for left and the right. Let's just remove that. Same. And we're finished. Now we need to go to the footer.